What is up, legends? Today, I have a list of five rogue secrets I created, which could complete the trio of stolen spells Blizzard introduced. So let's get right into it. Since the rogue secrets that were revealed so far this expansion were clearly stolen from another class and given a rogue twist to them, I will be doing the same thing today. And up first, we have Shadow Clones. It's an obvious take on Frozen Clones, and it reads, After your opponent plays a minion, add two one one copies of it to your hand. Now, I think it's pretty good. However, it has the potential of being too too worth of value for four mana if your opponent plays around it by playing minions that do not have an effect but it also have the potential of giving you crazy value for example alec two alex Trazos for one or two ragnaroses for one or Tyrians or what not that this this card could be very devastating and since blizzard said the rogue secrets are extremely powerful if played at the right time i think this plays right into it and could be very very devastating to your opponents if played properly next we have cunning escape it is a rare secret for rogue that says when your enemy casts a spell on your hero Summon a 1 1 minion as the new target. It is represented in the art by the poor gnome being the new target, and I designed a spell after Spellbender. So instead of the spell being casted on your minion, this would be a defensive secret um, that would prevent your hero to take damage. Um, so the 1 1 gnome would absorb potentially a fireball or a pyroblast or eviscerate or a bunch of targeted spells on your hero and i think it has the potential of saving many lives the next three secrets were abilities taken from world of warcraft and transposed into hearthstone the first one i have is shadow meld it says after your hero is attack gain stealth until your next turn and the idea behind this is that in World of Warcraft, Night Halves add the ability to turn invisible at will as a racial ability. In Hearthstone, this will be a defensive secret, just like Ice Barrier, which is what I muddled it upon. Now, obviously in the early game, if you play this, you are going to save you a little bit of, you know, a little bit of damage. You'll, you'll protect yourself quite easily um, in the late game though is when it is going to shine um, where you could have protected yourself for three or four damage early on turn two if you play this on turn eight or nine you have the potential of saving yourself extremely well as your enemy will not be able to attack with his minions uh, into your face he will have to use uh, spells or minions that do not target your hero to deal damage like Abyssal Enforcer or Consecration, which will make it harder for him to attack you. He'll of course still be able to attack you with one minion uh, during his turn, but after that it will be much more difficult for him to kill you. It still can be played around, which is why I think it would still be you know a good option and not completely broken but of course it is extremely strong in the late game and for that i would like to see i would like to see this to to be able to have a rogue survive very very long and per perhaps had the potential of creating a control rogue which would be very interesting next up is my favorite and probably most interesting secret i wanted to show today it is an epic called kick and it says when your opponent casts a spell counter it and add a random spell to their hand the idea behind this of course was that in world of warcraft the ability kicked was used by rogue to interrupt spell cast would also cause the enemy spellcaster to not be able to cast from that same school of magic for the next six seconds in hearthstone we could not have a counter spell for two mana because that would be way too cheap however by adding a random spell to your enemy hand 
you also have a drawback on the spell and it works with the flavor of the spell because most of the time when someone would be kicked in World of Warcraft, they would start casting from another school of magic. In this case, it would probably be casting a spell from another class. And I thought it was just very interesting to actually just be able to somewhat sap a spell while not really giving them the exact same spell back because they would be casting from the same school of magic. I thought it was way too flavorful to let go and I came up with this and I'm very happy <laughs> with the result I got. And I hope you guys like this card too, of course. Last but not least, we have the Epic Rogue Secret Debilitating Poison. It reads, after your opponent plays a minion, reduce its attack and health to one. In World of Warcraft, Debilitating Poison was used to infuse your weapon with a strong potent poison that would incapacitate your enemies on the battlefield by slowing them down. In Hearthstone, Crippling an enemy minion sounded to me like reducing its stats, and it translated into a card that was somewhat similar to Potion of Polymorph. Now, not transforming the minion into a worthless 1-1 means that your opponent can keep direct abilities on their cards, for example, if they have a Divine Shield or a Death Rattle, those would still remain. It would just be easier for you to finish them off with your dagger, uh, which, to be honest, is extremely flavorful because the poison was applied on a dagger in World of Warcraft, so I just thought it would be interesting to see that card in Hearthstone. I hope you guys enjoyed the card that I have to show you today. Uh, they were all created by me this morning while I was thinking, hey, they have not revealed the last one yet. What could it be? It has to be flavorful and it has to do with mage spells for some reason. If you guys have any other secrets that you can think of that could be part of this list or potentially could make it into Hearthstone as an actual rogue secret, make sure to comment it down below. Thanks a lot for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.